Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting very to episode 9 of Whisper Me a Love Song. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. No, it's still interesting because <laughs> it's been a fast minute. So don't say anything. Honestly, I forgot why this show went on hiatus. Wasn't it something with, like, the studio? I, I mean, I, I, I kind of remember that, and then it was something else. But, like, because, god damn, it's been, I think, what, a whole month since the last episode that we got? And that was the same day we were like, hey, we're going on a hiatus for, like, a hot minute. Mm. And, of course, it had to be also due to the backlash of, um, I think, episode 6, 7, and 8 of the quality, maybe, I think. I gotta go back and look. <laughs> Shit. Uh, and we hope that this goes really, really well. This is not going to go the greatest. Mm. 
Well, okay. Right? At, at least talk this over. Let bygones be bygones. Start on a new leaf, new chapter, girls. Like, damn, we ain't gotta be bitches all the time. Yeah. Yeah, Yoni, you're, you're okay with us? So we just ended it like this. <sighs> Girls, we're never going to get this solved, damn it. Right? I mean, because they are. And that is But that's coming in between
Yeah, but it just feels like the situation just got worse because you dragged Hema in this. Right. I mean, because once again, remember, her girlfriend is in the other band that you were formerly in, so she's automatically going to be rooting for them. Basically, you're boosting, you know, their social medias and everything. Maybe suggesting a couple of things here and there, but you're just enhancing them. Uh, she did. <laughs> to be jealous. And establish certain things, because Ave. It's okay. Because something told me, and I what I really thought that moment would have been like, oh, okay. I thought she was going to tell her, well, you know what? What about what to face? It's okay. We all knew it was going to happen. Once again, her say is doing a damn good job in this show. <laughs> yeah, but like, as I said, I really would have been like, oh, hey, well, yeah, you don't want to talk about the fact that you're totally in love with Yori. You do what you gotta do. But remember, play fair. All is fair in love and war. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
the way she just got super close to her. And girl, I can't. My heart. <laughs> Once again, even though I do not roll that way because I love me some guys. I'm strictly dickly. But I just the way she looks at her, I cannot. <laughs> It's so freaking cute. Like, ugh. Aww. <laughs> Damn, that's a nice house. I think that was a mate. What time is it supposed to rain? Well, it said it's 6.16, but it's 6.30. No rain yet. And you can write it about your girlfriend. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, we got to hurry up and watch this episode because I might, have, I might not be able to watch pretty here tonight. Right? It, it just feels like you three have known each other for, like, the longest time. Really? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, it's going to be like this for the rest of the damn night. So I don't think, yeah, I'm going to record it. Yeah. Were y'all just meeting at the wrong time? At the, I mean, at the wrong time, the right time? Well, yeah, we're curious. Or where? We ain't going to no grave, are we? happened last summer for these girls because whatever it is it's not good highly I, we're going to somebody's grave next week aren't we because here, here's something I want to know there had to be somebody else in this group that Izumi is not essentially talking about they did not just immediately become a trio. There's something else here that's missing and such. So here's hoping next week we do get that big, big, big conflict on that backstory because she, like, her group and her are, like, the most, like, mysterious. I ain't gonna say. They are interesting as well, but, but I have favorites. So I'm just like, you know. But no, for this show to finally come back after a month, I, I love it, but it feels like we've missed so much because of the hiatus and such. And I get it. it. It happens. You have to do what you have to do and what you think is right and such. We have talked about that with this show. But it is going to, um, I think there's going to be a, a lot of backlash. Or there already was a lot of backlash due to the fact that they went on hiatus, but... Old memories, old feelings. Yeah, I'm a little scared for next week. Mm -hmm. This, I think, this is the first time in a while for the show. I've been scared, obviously, until we got the out uh, the episode of of her and her situation. But there is something else there. Maybe, yeah, having Hema be their manager was a good thing, possibly. But whatever we're gonna find out next week it might change how I feel I don't fucking know but other than that I am excited to see how this is gonna go and how this is potentially going to end and within the next couple of weeks that we do have because of the fact that it's like with all the other shows of spring we're really necessarily done this and um I think what Misfit will be like the last two shows that I'll have from this season and because they both went on hiatuses or currently on hiatuses it's just like damn but I, I get it once again you do what you gotta do other than that guys that is my reaction to you towards episode 9 of whisper me a love song if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day join the master squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 10 but until then I will see you guys all next time bye